Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Melanie here. So I am kind of doing a little day-by-day -day vlog, but I might put it in a video all together. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to play it by ear and figure it out. But so on my social media, particularly mostly on my Instagram, I put that I was just going to take like a mini social media break. Sorry, I can't talk today. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I decided to do it because so coming into 2019, I was like, new year, ready to go, let's make changes, like, yes, like, I was so excited going into it, but then a lot of stuff in life for me personally effect affected and was really, really hard and really, really tough <clears throat> for a lot of stuff I had to go through, so 2019 was actually a really tough year, was not probably one of the best ones for me, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Of course, of, of course, of course, there was always, like, some good memories, too, but... I'm hoping for 2020, maybe best year yet. <laughs> we'll just see, but just 2019 was really hard. I feel like 2018, of course, like every year is never perfect, so I don't want to just be like, it was perfect. But for me, I just had so many great accomplishments. Like that was just a really like big year for me. So it felt like it was a perfect year because everything just went smoothly. There was no problems. I was able to put myself out there. I just felt the most proud of myself. I had a lot of confidence that year. It just, it felt like a really great and perfect year in a way. And then coming into 2019, it's just overall, like, I know there's good and bad moments and not everything's perfect, but it was a really tough year. It was probably one of the most toughest years of my life with everything I've had to go through. But I guess I will say the only thing I have learned from it is you do get stronger and you get through it the best you can. You really do for the tough times. So I feel like 2019 was the toughest. I'm hoping going into 2020, I know it's not even close to New Year's yet, but I'm already thinking like so far ahead. Um, but yeah, I'm really hopeful like for 2020 to be kind of just like a recovery year, like that, but also just starting fresh and starting new and figuring myself out as a person. Well, 2019, I still have many months. I'm still gonna be figuring myself out. But back to why I took the social media break. It's because I wanna work on myself, figure myself out. I'm really going through a lot right now where I don't feel at my best to be on any type of social media, mostly for Instagram. I still want to try my best to promote my YouTube channel because I feel if I slack off on it, that just slacks off just the whole point of doing YouTube and so I will still be using Facebook but only to be promoting YouTube other than that I'm not really going to be on any of my social media um, as for snapchat the only time I'm going to be on it is if I need to get a hold of somebody or somebody needs to get a hold of me because some of my friends like to use snapchat rather than texting me so I'm kind of just using it right now as a texting base I'm not posting on any story I'm not sending any pics it's just for any type of direct message if somebody needs to get a hold of me or I need to get a hold of someone and obviously like I still use like text and call and I have to use messenger because that's the best way my mom can reach me so there's still things I'm using I'm just limiting a lot overall so I just want to do a recap the day hasn't been over yet but just so far how I felt without being on my Instagram to be honest, I actually feel really good. It's just, yeah, like I just feel good. I feel like I don't have to worry about being on like an app of somewhat. And I just had a lot of time to kind of just rest tonight because I got back from the beach yesterday and I got to spend time with my cat. And just right now, like I'm on a drive. I'm gonna be visiting my dad, buying some groceries for him. Just, I don't know, just, oh yeah, getting coffee too. But just like, I just feel really good. Like day one, I feel really good. It does feel weird, cause so Instagram's my favorite app, so literally it's gonna be the hardest. But I feel really good about it. And yeah, I feel, feel happy today. So I'm hoping to stay off it for at least a, a week. That's like my goal, longer if possible, depending of how I feel and if I like being off it. <laughs> so, so that's why I'm hoping this video title will be like, a week long without Instagram hmm, yeah <laughs> so anyways that is all for right now so I'll catch you guys in a bit bye <laughs>